really it just comes down to the fact that I love music and the people that I look up to, they're never done. Uh, those people being like Pharrell, Timberland, Swiss Beats, and that's how I feel about my music and my legacy and my inspiration is I never feel done and I never feel like I wrapped it up or I never even feel like I'm doing it for, for one goal. It's just like how I feel about music at the time. You know, I'd rather get out there, risk it, put it on the line, see what happens. And by doing that, it kind of just led me into finding a flow and finding a tempo and finding a beat selection and then engaging with my fans and being like, this is what they really, really fucking want. So by doing that over an amount of time, it was probably like six to eight months, I figured out, I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm just ready to go ahead and do Cushion Oranges too and like make that the project. All of these is like live. <laughs> we took everything out. Like we we redid shit. So much shit is like it's humans playing all of this music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's the good part too. Like it's super it's funky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I wanted to do, man. Like yeah. all of my favorite producers and artists. Well, majority of them and a lot of them helped me out on here. DJ Quick, Juicy J. And like, you know what I'm saying? I was able to like yeah. really borrow from their sound and like their knowledge of the game and like apply it, you know what I'm saying? That shit to, to now. So you did it, dude! <laughs> Let me get up right here. But it's the fact that we're distributing an album in the new fucking age of how things are done. That's the story right there. There's so many artists going through. There's so many people who have fucking questions. And to see somebody that they look up to and have seen do this shit, go at it and get it ready is a story to be told. And especially for young black men, they don't really have too many alternatives out here, bro. Like everybody's scamming or shooting or doing a lot of drugs and there's not too many like positive influences, bro, like on some real ass shit. So to come at it and to not be like MC Hammer, but like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm still smoking weed and like being cool, but it's like, yo, like, be alive. Let me get my phone. 